I am back and I'm super excited to be back. If this is the first video that you've seen of mine, my name is Ed Gregory, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. Just wanna give a quick shout out to Squarespace who has sponsored this video, so thank you so much for that. In fact, I've just made my Squarespace website. It took me about four hours to make it. It's ed-gregory.com, you can go check it out. But basically, from beginning to end, four hours around it took me to build my website. They've got great templates, they look awesome straight out of the box. No need for plugins, no need for all of these things. It's an all-in-one platform to build a website. Let's jump into this first video, which is why everybody should be editing their photos. Item number one. Let's get this one out of the way before we even get going. We have been editing photographs since photography was invented. There is nothing wrong with editing photos. Don't take it from anyone that says you're editing it and you're making it look fake. You wanna edit your photos however you wanna do it. Be an artist, be a creator, Editing photos is part of the creative process of being a photographer. Reason number two is that editing your photographs enhances the story and the user experience. Let's talk story for a moment. Think about a movie, that's just moving pictures. But when we think about it, that is a clear story, beginning, middle, and end. Now a photo series can do something similar. When you go to the cinema, a movie has an edit that goes throughout. The color has consistency throughout that gives a tone and a feeling. It's the same thing with photography. Think about a great Instagram account, not somebody that's famous because they can post whatever they want, but an account that gives you a feeling or a sensation when you look at them. That's pretty much because what they've done is their entire profile follows a same a similar color scheme. And what that does is it helps to invoke an emotion or tell a story. And on the flip side of that, it enhances the user experience. So somebody looking at your photographs can go on a journey with you. So let's just take a look at some photos as an example. I went to New York with Rosie, my fiance, and we took a load of photographs. But New York has a feeling behind it. So I wanted to bring that feeling into my photos. Now, if I hadn't have actually done an edit on them, they would have looked like great images still, but I gave them a urban New York feeling. What I also did was use the same color grade against all of the images, and what that did in turn was it made these into a sequence, into a story, into a beautiful set of photos. And in turn, what that does is when people look at my photographs, they go to my Instagram, go follow it, clearly Ed, by the way, and you can see these photographs, and what you're able to do is it tells a bit of a story and it gives a feeling for our New York experience. And that's why we should be editing our photographs to enhance the story and the viewer experience. Reason number three that you should be editing your photographs is that editing doesn't have to be fake. So editing is basically enhancing the image. So you're taking a raw photo and then you're enhancing elements within it to tell a better story. So let's talk about the differences between retouching and editing, okay? Editing is enhancing. Retouching is basically retouching an image, which means taking things away or adding things. Now, of course, you can do that. A lot of people do that. I do that. It's a great technique and you can use it, but you don't have to. You can just throw in a preset and give a feeling to it. So let's look at this as an example. We're up in Lake Tahoe. We went on this beautiful walk. I took some photographs on my phone and I did a quick edit on them, but I wanted them all to tell the same story, but I didn't make them look fake. I just enhanced the greens and enhanced the sky a little bit to really tell the story of what I experienced when I was there. So when I look at these photographs, it's actually closer to my experience than the photos that came straight off my phone, just because I could put the feeling into them that I had when I was there. Reason number four why everybody should be editing is really cameras nowadays are built with editing in mind. So the manufacturers of the sensors, of the cameras, of the processors kind of know that the user is going to be editing. That's why we have this format called RAW. So whether you shoot Sony or Nikon or Canon or Fuji, it doesn't matter you can get a raw image from it. Even on an iPhone or an Android phone, like a Samsung or something like this, you can take raw photos. And what you're able to do is edit that to look a certain way. 
The image straight from a camera looks bad. It looks worse than what you actually saw. So if you didn't do an edit, basically it's the reverse. It's not that you're enhancing it and making it look fake. If you don't do an edit, you, it's not an accurate representation of what you saw either. Now you can shoot in JPEG or you can shoot on your phone that does already edit the image for you. But remember, Apple have created that edit for you. So you, technically you are editing the image anyway. So throwing on another filter is just giving your vibe to an image. So don't be afraid to take a photograph and edit it and especially where possible, shoot in raw. It's way, way, way better, and way more powerful. And a great example of this is let's go back to those New York photographs and let's look at the before and afters of the raw image and what we created. The raw image is not a representation at all of what I experienced in New York. The edited version is basically how I saw the city during that time. Item number five, one of the big things that people talk about at editing photographs is it takes way, way, way too long. It's not true anymore, okay? You can download Lightroom CC on your phone, you can use Snapseed, you can use just the, the one built into Instagram or Facebook to do your edits. On your computer, yes, you're shooting on your SLR camera, your DSLR or your mirrorless, you're importing them, but once they're on your, your computer, just use Lightroom and all you have to do click a preset and voila, the edit is done. A little bit of tweaking, get it exported. Don't make editing something which is a massive deal for you if you don't have the time. And if you have the time, go ahead and spend as much time as you want, but it doesn't have to get in the way of you editing your images. Item number six, I already touched on that just there, is that nowadays all of the platforms that you take your photos on come with editing built in. Remember, there are software companies out there making incredible software to make your images look great. Just use them. Use them. You don't have to be a pro to be able to edit your photographs like a pro. There are Lightroom presets. There are in-app presets or filters that you can use. Go ahead, use them and get creative. Item number seven, this is the final one and the most important one is that photography is a visual art. Go out there and be an artist, be creative, whatever makes you feel good, whatever makes you feel great or have an emotion when you're editing your photographs, go ahead and do it. Everybody else doesn't have to like it and appreciate it, you're an artist. So throw yourself out there and just get creative. So go out there and be the best artist, the best creator that you possibly can. But you don't have to call yourself a photographer. I'm a professional photographer to edit. In this day and age, 2019, everybody has the opportunity to edit their photographs. So my opinion is everybody should go out there, get creative and edit your photos. Okay, that is it for this video. Please go follow me on Instagram, clearly Ed. Ask me questions on Twitter, clearly Ed. And remember, get out there, get creative and always get shit done. So remember, I just launched my personal website for my portfolio, ed-gregory.com on Squarespace. Now I chose Squarespace because they've got great templates for creative people, and that really is what drew me to it. I was able to build a great portfolio using my photos and videos, and it looks beautiful. They've got loads of different templates, and one of the things that you can do on Squarespace, which is pretty special, is once you've built it using one of their templates, if you wanna change the template, you actually don't have to rebuild your website. You can just choose a new template and it automatically reformats everything for you. So it means in the year's time, you wanna kind of rebrand or change the vibe and style of what you are as a creative, you'll be able to pretty much do it in one click on Squarespace. So that for me was a really big deal. They've also got 24 seven customer service, which is awesome. You can have your own domain name. So mine is Ed hyphen Gregory. You can choose whatever you want it to be and you can do it through Squarespace, which is a big plus just to kind of get yourself up and running. No matter what it is, as a creative person, Squarespace allows you to go out there, build a brand, build a business with very, very little effort whatsoever. So if you wanna see if Squarespace is right for you, just head over to squarespace.com and you can get a free trial. Give it a go, see what you can build, it's completely free. If you like what you see, when you're ready to launch, 
just go to squarespace.com forward slash photos in color and you're gonna get 10% off your domain purchase, which is awesome. That'll do me for now.